Yes, second straight day of cuts, yes, but we, we are off the lows of the day substantially, almost, well, nearly half the losses. So about 0.9% for the Nifty, uh, slightly above, almost a percent for the Sensex as well. But at a point of time, we were close to 1.5% down. So this is actually a pretty good thing. And for the Bank Nifty as well, we've defended 24,000, uh, 24,060 was the low, and we are at 24,181. Broader end of the spectrum, um, yeah, still under pain. But the mid-cap index is down just about a percent, a percent, 1.2 percent. It's actually not a bad thing at all. So compared to what we had for most part of the trading day today, I think it's turning out to be a rather interesting, uh, rather uh, much prettier afternoon, if I can use that term. What's moving around? Uh, well, a handful of gainers. Uh, Coal India about a percent and a quarter. Bajaj Auto maybe about a percent. Uh, ICICI Bank close to a percent as well. So there's two or three names which have gained. But the list of losers, is very very long and right from stocks uh, in, the, in the middle of the screen to stocks moving off uh, substantially lower banking names the likes of SBI Axis etc are in the red HDFC as well as HDFC Bank the two twins have contributed to lion's share of the fall percentage fall on the index the contribution is high there is weakness in Bharti Airtel uh, M&M Lupin ITC and Adani Port of course three and a half percent off well, if you have to pick up one stock in today's trade, in last hour of trade, if you see, it was Shipping Corporation that moved up quite smartly that Navneet, uh, in fact, talked about a couple of minutes back. This one definitely is the top performer in today's last hour of trading, without any doubts. You also look at a group, that is Kalyani Group, uh, BF Utilities, Bharat Forge and BF Investments. All these stocks in this group have been doing well today and that is uh, interesting in, in, in a weaker market. If you see, this is one group which has uh, gained quite a bit. And we also had InfiBeam, the stock that was most volatile during the day, recovered quite a bit from the lower levels, though it was below 100 for a while, but finally closing at 117, 18 odd levels. We also had an eye on uh, RCAP and Reliance Home. So these two ADAG stocks, uh, actually they used to be the same and then they separated. Not so good listing on Friday, but today this stock was locked at the 5% upper circuit. And also an eye on uh, actually India Bulls Group. So these are a number of groups that were in focus in a way we can say. And India Bulls Real Estate, India Bulls Ventures and also Y Bull Housing. All three stocks from this group were looking weak, came under heavy selling pressure in today's trade now. Second straight day of week closing coming in for our markets. Let's quickly take a look as to the nifty contributors today. Which were the stock which contributed on the upside and which were the counters which contributed on the downside? Since market was down, let me start with the laggards. ITC dragged the index lower by almost 15 points. Your heavyweights HDFC Bank and HDFC, which together have almost 17% weightage on nifty, dragged the index lower by 25 points. And Kotak Mahindra Bank was weak in today's session. On the upside, after two straight day of fall ICICI bank recovered today so that contributed four points and the other biggies HUL Reliance Industries Infosys finally ended the day in green giving some support to the index but if you look at the broader markets the market breadth has been pretty weak in the past few trading session look at the NSC stats 291 advances for every 1241 stocks declining in today's session telling you that the greater sell-off actually came about in the broader markets and suffice to say the volatility in the past few sessions have been on the higher side. In fact, today the India VIX crossed the 13 mark. It finally closed at 13.3 with gains of almost 44%. In fact, in the last two to three sessions, India VIX has surged almost 15%. If you look at the turnover, it was on the higher side, telling you clearly this is the expiry week. So today's sell-off has come on back of high participation in today's market. Quickly, just few stocks to highlight from the media space, which were bucking the trend from the likes of TV today. And you also have Dish TV or both these counters ended the day in the green. Dish TV had an upgrade coming in from Motilal Oswal and bucking the trend from the realty space, the index which was the top sectoral loser for the day but you had Obra Realty that gained in today's session. That stock was up nearly 3% Neeraj.